so much will. Well, there are many stories of survival mm. and hope to come out of the heart of Sullivan. Yeah, Jen Thompson, she spoke to many residents and was inspired by trading cards. Dana, raising five kids of my own, sports cards are one thing that we have an abundance of. While walking down Main Street in the city of Sullivan, my breath was taken away when I saw a yard covered with someone's beloved card collection. Bill Pirtle, a resident of the city of Sullivan, and many family members were out sorting through his brother's belongings, salvaging what they could. Among those belongings was a collection of baseball cards that he says his brother has been collecting for over 50 years. He's been collecting them since he's 12 years old, and the house over here, uh, it was completely full. Pirtle said some of those cards were pretty valuable. His brother had been diagnosed with ALS and is currently on hospice. He said it was difficult telling his brother about what had happened. We've been trying to save all the stuff we can. It just breaks my heart. I hate to even talk to him about it. Just a few doors up the road, an American flag was flying over what was left of Val Reed's home. She shared her story of riding out the storm in her basement. I didn't hear a freight train sound like everybody says. It was more like a like a huge monster growling. It was uh, like a moaning, groaning, growling, things breaking. Um, you could hear glass. I heard water running. Um, and then just as soon as it hit, it was gone and everything got quiet. Reed, family members, and volunteers volunteers work to locate anything salvageable from their property. While speaking with Reed, a hospital bracelet from her daughter's birth was found, a folder for church with a cash donation. She couldn't help but smile. And then her husband came to her with news. A gentleman from down the street, and he saw me on top of this pile that used to be a, that used to be a house. And uh, he said he prayed to the Lord to show him what he can do for somebody. He said he wants to put a building up totally for nothing. On Tuesday, the Reeds were being blessed with a metal garage in place of their old garage, a gesture of kindness during a dark storm, a place they can store their belongings, which are important, but far from the first thing mentioned in terms of gratitude. The Lord helped us, and, and he keeps helping. You know, this material stuff, you can... Redo that, but the lives is what was most important in all of us. We're thankful for that. Baseball cards, a hospital bracelet, little things that feel like home. Dana. Yeah, also very.